Hello, thanks very much for joining me again. Welcome back. This video is about uh, another of our pen kits. At the time of doing the video, it is a new pen kit. It is called the Director. Um, slightly different to our, our normal names for pens. They normally follow the names of poets, um, but we felt Director was a suitable name for this pen. It is a big pen, um, suitable to adorn any boardroom. Um, and there's a little bit of a tale of woe here, I have to say. Um, I'm going to show you the finished pen, and this is the one you're going to see me turn in a minute. Um, I thought, in my infinite wisdom, that I should perhaps make an investment um, into some kind of special blank to show the pen off to its full potential. So, more than twice the price of the actual kit itself, I bought a stabilised blank, I'm not going to say where I got it from, um, and it's not particularly nice wood, it's full of holes, it was 15 quid, and frankly I don't think I'll be bothering again. Um, so because I had a problem with a stabilised blank, and I'll put that up later so you can see the holes that were in it, um, I don't know much about um, stabilising blanks, I, I have neither the equipment nor the time to mess around with it, hence that's why I bought um, that one, um, but you'll see the holes in it and it gave me all kinds of problems in getting a, a, a uniform finish on it. So I made an aluminium one um, and the cost of the blanks that we sell these for is three quid um, and I'm really rather happy with, uh, with that one. Um, I'm going to show you this one next to one of our rollster kits. Here's a rollster kit, um, and before I witter on about the size of this one, I'm going to say that I actually made this little Celtic knot bit, and it was far more satisfying making that than it was using a bit of wooden plastic stuck together. But there we go. Um, that's a rollster kit. Um, this is the rollerball one, um, and there you will see if I put um, one next to the other, the difference in size. This is just a big kit. It's pretty simple. Um, I'm going to show you the assembly, but um, uh, I reckon even the monkey could put this one together. Um, it has a bi-directional twist, like um, our airs kit. So if I hold that against a dark background, perhaps you'll see that popping out in both directions. And you can unscrew it, and when you unscrew it, uh, you will see the, uh, the refill pop out like so. So I'm just going to show you what happens to HDPE bushings when you press, use them as a pen press. They work fine because they're quite soft, but they do damage and get scratched. And um, let's try and get that in front of the camera. I don't know whether the, it'll quite pick that up, but hopefully you can see the marks in there. So I'm using a Cetal rod, which is the thing that we now sell for um, making your own bushings. I've got the pen parts here. I'm going to start off with the nib section. Um, so the nib section goes in the narrowest bit you've turned there and we're just going to press that in. Like so. And then we're going to press in the center band. The center band is the long part that goes in the front and the threaded section that goes in the back because the twist mechanism is going to screw into there like so. We're not going to obviously put that on until we've pressed in the rear section. Thank you. 
we can if we want to now actually insert the refill and screw on the twist mechanism and just double check that it works and this one like um, our airs kit is a bi-directional twist it needs to be done quite tight um, there there we go you can hopefully see that going in and out and now we will press on the rear section That will then push over there, and there we have the finished kit. So, there we go the director or two director pen kits bi directional twist um, on those. And that's the other menu one I did later. Um, I hope that's been helpful, useful, interesting. Um, enjoy whatever it is you do in your workshop. If you have any questions, drop us an email. Until next time, whatever it is you do in your workshop, do it safely, of course. Um, and we'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye for now. Take care.